Well, Alenush, thank you very much for, for your time. And we would like to, to ask general questions about uh, our programs or our similar programs that have in, uh, there are in different places. So we have here, as you know, two programs at our university, uh, PAD, the program for di didactic assistance, and PED, program for teaching improvement. Mm -hmm. Around 400 <laughs> undergraduate students take part in the first program, and around uh, 600 graduate students take part in the second program. The students of both programs receive a grant to work with undergraduate students. We have invited you uh, to this conference in order to exchange some experience because we know that you at your university have a similar initiative. Could you tell us uh, a little bit more about your projects, uh, your university, and how this works? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, um, the, when I found out about the PAD project in your university, it was actually quite impressive. Uh, we, I, we actually don't have anything similar to that. We have uh, programs that assist students in uh, acquiring different learning strategies, coping with their managing their time, understanding what the demands of the university is, but nothing with regards to uh, developing the sense of undergraduates to assess or provide proper feedback um, for teaching. So I think what you're doing is really actually quite great. With regards to graduate students, that's probably where most of the emphasis of our university is. So just to place it in context, uh, we have a, the, our university is considered as a research intensive university. It is about 28,000 students in size, about uh, eight, 9,000 are graduate students. But the emphasis on any of the pedagogical initiatives really is for graduate students. So. Um, with respect to that, there, there are formal um, courses, graduate courses offered for credit to students, um, and these are interdisciplinary courses, and um, almost every person who is appointed as a teaching assistant, which is sort of the equivalent of your monitor, I think, um, anybody who is appointed as a teaching assistant will take this course. So the course is generally about um, designing uh, principle-based courses and teaching so that the intended learning outcomes are gained. So this is offered every year, um, every semester, and uh, because there's a lot of teaching practice, it's limited to 15, 20 students per class. But we've been offering this course for more than, I'd say, 20, 25 years in our university. And it's a very, very popular course. And for many, it's a decisive um, aspect of landing a, an academic job, because it, it really gives them considerable um, knowledge, not just the theory, but theory applied to a specific course. And it, it puts them in a, in a sphere where they begin to think about teaching from student learning perspective rather than from what you need to do as a, as a professor or an instructor. But the things you do need to support the kind of learning that you have in mind. And the learning is not just content-related material. It could be all sorts of outcomes, like, for instance, cognitive um, skills, such as thinking, critical thinking, analysis, problem solving, um, any, any of these higher level cognitive skills. So how do you basically organize your course in order to attain a broader scope of learning outcomes, which include not just content, but also cognitive and perhaps some affective kinds of outcomes. In addition to this particular course that is actually offered through my department, the Educational and Counseling Psychology Department for the entire university, um, our graduate faculty of graduate studies um, has organized, and this is sort of a relatively new initiative, it's called uh, skill sets. And these are informal uh, but organized topical 
uh, seminars and workshops for graduate students and they can range from from something like how do you prepare for an interview to something like how do you um, critically analyze and assess uh, um, assess your learnings what about the other part the TTA, TTA practice itself the hands-on part of, right. the, of the TA program um, do you have a feedback do you have the feedback on the students that took part in the TA program? Do, because this is also a learning part, no? a hands-on learning part. How do you access, right. how do you measure, how do you, do you have a feedback on the improvements or on the uh, learning? Well, we have, we have several kinds of feedback. Um, in courses when, where there are TAs, there is a course evaluation component for the TA. Um, but we also receive uh, feedback haphazard, not a systematic way, but individuals who have gone on to, to different uh, walks of life have written back to say that the way that this course has actually influenced their career. Uh, so for instance, most recently we had a, um, uh, an email from a student in, in law who took a job in Scotland somewhere and wrote back to say that it was the, the, when he went to the job interview, the primary interest of the university was for him to, he was a doctoral student, um, he had been hired to set up a new program in the um, University of Edinburgh, and he, um, the way he, uh, he communicated was that it was based on the information he had gleaned from this course that he was able to present his vision about how the course would, how the program would be developed, how, how he would set it so that it meets certain outcomes, what are the ingredients that need to go into this program in order to attain the university's agenda. So he wrote back this uh, incredible um, email to the instructor of the course to say that if it hadn't been for this particular course, I would never have been able to get this job. So there is an anecdotal evidence like that. The formal evidence is really from the uh, portion of the courses which have uh, TAs who have actually taken this course. Uh, I would like to, to, to see or to hear if you have uh, any message for our monitors for our uh, uh, students that participate in the in the program, now we are reaching the number of one thousand, uh, more or less one thousand students each this semester. semester. Yeah. So, wow. uh, if you have any message for them, uh, so that uh, we can uh, give to them. So, if yes. you have something, uh, uh, the message really is for the students to assume an active role and to. Um, have used opportunities to communicate to their professors, to their administration, what are some of the things that they are aspiring to do and what are some of the ways that they think will help them um, achieve their goals. Okay, very well. Well, thank you very much, uh, Alinush. It's a pleasure talking to you again. Thank you very much for your time, for your patience, for, for the opportunity to hear your experience and we really hope to have you here again uh, soon. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be with you.